So, I am here with both of my bagged canister vacuums. I do have a Samsung model as well. It's a bagless, so I didn't put it in the mix of these two, just because I usually keep it up in a shelf. Um, it's bagless. It has the multi-cyclonic technology. I'll have to do a video of that sometime. I make videos and then I never upload them, so that's my biggest issue. Um, this one, though, I'm recording it and I plan to upload it right after. So these two are my bagged canisters. The Kenmore is the first machine that I've ever purchased that since I've actually been working. Um, mind you, I'm only 20, but um, it's my first machine that I ever purchased. I bought it on Black Friday weekend for like $130. It was marked down like almost 50% off. They still sell the Kenmore at Sears. Um, and I mean, I've done a video of my Electrolux before, but I've never done a video of my Kenmore. So if I end up talking about the Kenmore a little more, then sorry, but not sorry. It's a little dirty right now, but that's because it always sits in uh, the spare bedroom. It doesn't get used as much. I mean, it was used when it was the only machine that I ever had. You do have your fingertip on off control, as you can see. So you do have fingertip on off. Um, Kenmore copied Electrolux with their similar version of the crossover wand and handle. As you can see, it does have this plastic extension or crevice tool that houses right on the bottom. The only thing I don't like about this is it cracked right there where it attaches. So because of the way that this snaps on, I mean, it doesn't come off but it snaps on. Then you have a, a soft dusting brush. It has a sheath that goes over it. Um, and you can just pop that off. It always comes on, or it's always on the handle unless you want to pop it off of there, but I mean, it slides right over top of the wand. If I can do this with one hand, which I probably can't. Man, there. So the one thing that I don't like about this is this w cable always comes out the back. You do have a quick release down here. This is the first, um, or this is the the beginner, pretty much the affordable progressive or their affordable higher end canister machine. Um, it has all the features minus some amenities, let's just say. It's really wobbly though. It's hard to get this thing to stand up by itself because the hose is so heavy. Um, and the nozzle itself isn't very or isn't very deep. I mean, that's my foot and you can see it's not very deep. You do have a belt reset and you do have a window down here that will tell you what, ooh what setting that your vacuum's on. Somebody must have been using this on the wrong setting because I always keep it on extra low. And your release is right there. The main part of the machine, you do have a window or a door right here. You have a floor tool and this rubber piece that actually goes over top of that horse hoofy looking dusting brush. And then down in here, you have the pet power mate. Or they call it the Pet Handy Mate or the something like that. But it's pretty much the Power Mate Junior on the older machines. But I mean, you can see this wand keeps twisting because the hose is so heavy. I'm going to put that down. Maybe that'll help. It didn't. So anyway, then my Electrolux. This model, you do have the fingertip controls. The reason why I bought this instead of the bagless, I wanted a bagless canister because I like having a canister to vacuum with every day, even though I do use an upright quite often. But I wanted bagless. I like bagged machines 
but I like bagless as well because sometimes I like to see that, you know, I actually vacuumed for a reason. And I like to see how much dirt I'm picking up and things like that. But um, I could not find a bagless machine with fingertip controls. The only fingertip control that is available is the um, power control for the power nozzle. That's it. To turn the machine on, you got to use your foot. You do have the option to use your foot on this machine, but you don't have to. And you can see, I'll turn this one on. And you can hear it's extremely quiet. And I'm going to set these down. I only did that just for the opening of the video. Um, the one thing I don't like... Well, first of all, the Kenmore is gigantic compared to the Electrolux. It weighs more. It's bigger. The bags are bigger. The wheels are bigger. Everything's bigger. It's also taller, except the Electrolux. You can actually extend the wand on the Electrolux, as you can see, to be huge. And you don't need it that high. I usually keep it on the first setting up. The Kenmore is not adjustable. If you were to move up to the blueberry colored model, this is the 21514. If you were to move up to the 21614 Progressive, you would have that. Um, it's the adjustable wand. It's more money. They have to integrate different power cables and things, but I'm gonna just start off with vacuuming. These are both going to be vacuuming on the high power setting, and this model does have a headlight, but the headlight is not is only on when the brush rolls on. So, the bag in this, I don't even know if it's new or not. It doesn't smell like it's been sitting a long time. It smells like plastic. Because in all reality, even though this machine only is about four years old now, five years old, it probably, it's the oldest machine that I own. It probably has about eight months of use in it. Because the beauty of having multiple vacuums is, if you don't use the same one all the time, even though you've had it for five years, you don't have five years of use on it. So as you can see, there is quite a bit of stuff that it did leave behind, but it's only in the grooves where the brush roll is kind of sectioned off with like the, um, the brush guard or whatever it is on the underneath of the machine. It does an okay job grooming. I don't usually vacuum in this direction because this isn't the entrance of the room. Over there is the entrance, so I usually vacuum in this direction, even though the carpet looks better when I vacuum in the direction that we are vacuuming in. So the one thing about the Kenmore is, is it's an immediate full power on, whereas the Electrolux has a progressive startup And the Electrolux also has a swivel power nozzle, and the Kenmore does not, which it's hard to get used to. Okay, so... One thing I want to point out with the Electrolux is those pieces up there, you can see, I didn't even vacuum past that certain point because I was looking at the camera and not the carpet. But next to it, I did. So a comparison, I'd say they appear to groom about the same, 
but the Electrolux definitely left less. There's a couple bits and pieces here, and there's a couple pieces there, and two pieces, one there and one there. The And it left a little bit there. I think I might have said that already. But the Kenmore, um, those are little freckle pieces. It left all of this in here, all of that up there, all of that up there. So, in comparison, the Electrolux does a much better job. Um, it's easier to use. It feels like it's cleaning a lot better, whereas the Kenmore just kind of glides right across the carpet, no problem. The Electrolux, excuse me, actually feels like it's vacuuming deep down. It's grooming further down into the carpet. Um, it has more suction, if you ask me. It feels like the Electrolux has a lot more power. It's easier to use. It's lighter. And the problem with the Kenmore is because it's a longer machine, it tends to kind of run into things when you're dragging it along, especially because of the way that they design that front caster wheel, whereas the Electrolux actually has a caster spinner wheel on the front of the Kenmore. This wheel, it locks into place, except for when it's down on the ground. It's weird the way that they designed it. Um, but, I mean, even now it's locked into place. It's, it's funny. Like, it has to be laying flat in order for it to unlock. The Electrolux has just a spinner caster. Now, the Electrolux also has two carry handles, whereas the um, Kenmore only has the one. The bag changing is pretty much the same. The filter on the Kenmore, I believe it has a, it does, it has a filter back here. Um, both of them, like I said, they both have a quick release, handle release, height adjustment, handle release and height adjustment on that machine too. Your um, attachments are not attached to the handle uh, like, they're not constantly attached to the end. And the one thing, the big thing that I really like about the Electrolux over the Kenmore is you can actually detach the handle and attach it straight to the power head for doing mattresses or a car trunk or steps or something. Whereas the Kenmore, it will slide over, but it doesn't lock on. You actually have to hold the power head on because in this feels like it's about to break that quick release and apparently that's a big thing that people complain about is that quick release breaking also you can remove the bristles from the um dusting brush so it just becomes like a um a upholstery tool the other complaint that i have about the kenmore that i like about the electrolux is the Electrolux has a, an upholstery tool, whereas the Kenmore doesn't. The Electrolux came with a good um, hard floor tool. The Kenmore did, but the Kenmore's is really small. I mean, it's really tiny. Um, and it's pretty much useless. Whereas the Electrolux actually came with a horsehair parquet tool. And um, the Electrolux came with a dusting brush, a crevice tool, and a upholstery tool. It's not housed on the main unit, but you have it. Same with the hard floor tool. This came with a pet power mate, but the pet power mate, you can't use it on like these micro suede, microfiber couches. So it's kind of a pain. Whereas a canister is supposed to be really versatile and usable on all different surfaces. This machine pretty much can't be used on a couch that isn't very breathable. But that is my review of these two machines. I always make them a lot longer than I intend to because I'm trying to fit so much into a short period of time. But um, if you have any requests on either of these two machines, I'm going to try and do a review including my Samsung or just the Samsung standalone. Thank you.